Drawing Arrays. Today we will learn how to draw an array to illustrate a multiplication problem. So, how do I show the problem 3 times 4 equals 12? How can I draw a picture showing that problem? Well, you will draw an array. The problem 3 times 4 equals 12 tells you how many rows and columns you need to include in your array. Three rows, one, two, three, and four columns, one, two, three, four. Three times four equals twelve. Twelve dots. So let's look at this array. Three rows of donuts and four columns of donuts. How many donuts are there in all? Twelve. What about this array? What does this array show? Four times three. There are four rows and three columns. So how many cupcakes are there all together? Four times three equals 12. Arrays are all around us. Do you see an array here? You should see two times three equals six. There are two rows and three columns and six in all. Here's another picture of an array. What multiplication problem does it represent? Two times six equals 12. Two rows, six columns, equals 12 eggs in all. What about this array? Five rows, two columns. 10 in all. Five times two equals 10. This one might be tricky. Depending on how you hold a Lego, you will see two different arrays. You might see two times four equals eight, or four times two equals eight. This illustration shows how an array can be flipped. Four times six equals 24, or six times four equals 24. There are the same number of dots in both arrays. So can you draw an array for five times three? How many rows does it have? How many columns? Finally, what is the answer to five times three? Here you will see the final array. There are five rows and three columns and all together, 15 dots. I hope you'd enjoyed learning about arrays today. I want to give credit to all my um, images Thank you and see you next time.